Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning and I'm using Greg's phone to record because um, the, the speaker on my phone makes like a weird whoosh noise all the time. And I got a new speaker on Thursday and I couldn't get it to work and then I broke it by accident. <laughs> so I'm not having much luck in the, uh, or I guess microphone, in the microphone department. Um, it's cold this morning, which is weird because we've had some like really warm days. It was like almost 50 and then this morning was just like so cold. Um, I'm down to milk sugar, feed babies. Hi. They're so cute. And then I'm also going to trim up sugar's udder a little bit so I can like really see the attachment in the back um, open everybody up keep the boys closed up because they keep getting out um, so we have to fix their fence which is fine I think we'll get some cattle panels today maybe we'll probably make a uh, tractor supply trip there um, so yeah I hope you enjoy and I will see you again when I'm done. <laughs> that was stupid. This is what I was using. Just to trim me up a little bit. So this is the Andy's um, Pulse. It's a little pricey, but everybody recommended it. So that's what we got. Look at how good that looks. So I'm looking at attachment up at the top. We have a lot of attachment here. comes out the back just a little bit. Which is a very nice first freshener udder. Very happy with it. So we're currently still feeding these guys five times a day. Um, the other day they got their first round of coccidia preventative, which we do for all of our babies. Um, we'll do it again when they're weaned about eight weeks and then they get it again another four weeks after that if the person that receives them continues to do coccidia preventative. Uh, these guys are also disbudded, so we burn the little horn bud on their head when it comes up, and that's just to ensure that horns don't grow up, hopefully. Mm -hmm. 
everybody wants this guy with his balls. <laughs> um, nobody wants him as a weather. They all want him with his balls. And his mom's a first freshener. And she's got a really nice udder. Um, I'm kind of upset actually that this girl's already sold because I would keep her. She's got super nice teats. She's producing a really good amount of milk for a first freshener, but she's just got a smaller body. So I don't know if, if her buck would pass on smaller bodies to, to his babies. But she also had coccidia when Sugar, she also had his mom, had coccidia when she was really young. And I thought she was going to die. We ended up nursing her back to health. And I kind of think that that's what stunted her growth. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm perplexed on whether I should weather him and sell him as a pet or if he would be good breeding stock. Cause her udder is so nice, so, so nice. But he's so stinking cute too. He's like, he's so long and straight and he's just got like such a bulky buck body already. I hate when they've been locked up. They get so weird. But that's where they've been getting out. I don't know if you can see it, but the fences bent down. They've been walking over it. you suck on her teats. Golden Hour was trying to get a suckle of sugars. Hey! I don't want that. That wouldn't be good. And she'd end up with some uneven boobies. Not what we want. She must have been she must have been damn raised. Um, raised on her mom, so. But it's been a long time since she's been with her mom. So, I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm going to, I'm going to put this milk in the fridge. This is another feeding for both of them worth. And 
um, at some point I'm going to come down. I've got to pull hair out of the babies to make sure they're toast babies. And Jasper, because i got to DNA test Jasper. Or not, yeah, DNA test him. i got a G6 test him, casing test him. Little bunny. So we are on the road. We are stopping at Viking, which is where Greg works. Um, we've got to get some clevises. Um, I don't know what, I, th I think there's a better name for them, but Greg calls them clevises. We have to get some like black goopy stuff to put on the top of the barn too, because the barn's leaking. And then we are going to the farmer's market. Cause we try to go to the farmer's market every Saturday. That's where we like to get, yeah, we're going to the farmer's market. <laughs> Um, we like to get all of our meat from Mommy. the farmer's market. What, baby? Mommy. We obviously have both the girls with us. And we're also going to stop at Tractor Supply. What, baby? <laughs> so, I'll take you along with us a little bit. I'll try to get some, like, little clips of some things that we grab at the farmer's market. And, um, if we get anything at Tractor Supply, you'll probably see us trying to set something up today. I don't know if we're going to try to set up a different place to put our kids, but we need to. Um, because the kidding pen is going to be used next week by creeper and when she's in the kidding pen we have no place to put our kids <laughs> but yeah so i hope you enjoy so like Are they all the same length? but a baby goat could fit through these big ones right or is this smaller no what if oh wait i have a good idea okay so it doesn't matter if we're building like a thing if we got some long ones we bended them over and then we could get a couple of these and set up a kidding pen with these because the baby oh no they can get out of that the baby duckies so we've got the cattle panels oh there they go <laughs> <laughs> They're hooked up all weird. We hope they stay. They should stay. Um, we got four of them. So we're going to try to make some sort of like hoop house, hoop house type deal with them. Hello. So I'm a little bit late feeding the girls, or the, the babies their second bottles of the day. So I'm feeding them a little bit extra to kind of make up for our, our missed bottle feeding. Greg decided to put the boys out front in this little cattle panel area so they're just gonna have a smaller area for the next couple of days until we figure something else out it's supposed to rain later today so i'm not sure if we're gonna do anything with the new cattle pan panels that we just bought um but i think we're gonna do some sort of thing where we like build a, a like triangle or not triangle <laughs> a rectangle type frame out of wood and then we're gonna attach the cattle panels drape them over and then we're gonna put um like the same material that you put on like a green greenhouse we got some of that we're gonna run that on it somehow hook that all up safely and then hopefully turn that into the area that we put our kids in. so i'm gonna feed these guys they're bottles they're bottles um we just had somebody place a deposit on the little boy, so he is getting sold as a buck. I'm so happy about that too, because honestly, he's so cute and he's built really nice. And I'm so proud of Sugar's Utter and what she's producing. Like, I feel like he's gonna make a really nice buck for somebody. Hey, 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 hey. 
I'll come back down a little bit. I've got some stuff for collecting hair for DNA testing, for Jasper, for G6 and casing testing, and then the little baby doe for parent verification testing. All milk, sugar, another bottle. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Oops. <laughs> Got everybody's hair follicles. Send off. We are heading over to my parents for dinner tonight because it's Saturday night. I did not get to building the new kidding area. And I'm also not going to take care of the animals tonight. I'm going to leave that to Greg so he gets a chance to milk sugar and bottle feed the babies because everybody likes to hang out with baby goats. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you again later this week.